Well, there are massive riots in Paris right now, all through France. They may topple the French government. They're mostly being ignored in this country, but they're worth paying attention to because they tell us a lot about the downside of elites forcing ordinary people to bear pretty much the entire burden of fighting climate change. Our betters are very concerned about climate change, but they don't want to give up their planes. They want you to pay more at the pump. This is not a workable long-term approach, but elites have refused to rethink it. In fact, they're doubling down. In a recent statement, the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says there will be no infrastructure deal with the Trump administration. No Americans will work on that deal until and unless the U.S. rejoins the Paris Climate Accord, the one that France is following, which led to the riots. Huh. Well, Josh Fox has been following this. He's an environmental activist. He directed the anti-fracking film Gasland, and he joins us tonight. Again, Josh, thanks a lot for coming on. So what I love Always about this, pleasure, thank you. So neither of us is a climate scientist. We don't need to argue about the details of climate science for the purposes of this conversation. I'll just concede for the purposes of this that like everything you say is true. I'm interested in what the solutions are. All right, the I'm all over that. Proposed, no, but I'm interested because I noticed that the solutions always entail normal people paying a lot more for the necessities of life. Why is it never Jeff Bezos footing the bill or closing I, the carried interest loophole and letting finance community pay the bill? It's always like, you know, normal people. Why? Tucker, we're going to agree about something for the first time, perhaps ever. This okay. is amazing. I couldn't agree with you more. What's happening in France is they're forcing working class people to yeah. pay the burden of a certain policy change. Now, this policy needs to change. We need to get off of fossil fuels right away. We see all these signs, wildfires in California, huge hurricanes, all these things that are happening because of climate change. But you're absolutely right. Major corporations, and there are a hundred major corporations that are responsible for most of the emissions on the planet, those are the people who should be put, fitting, footing the bill. Now, if you were to listen to somebody like Emmanuel Macron or Barack Obama or these neoliberals, um, you would see a lot of these policies being fanned out among the population rather than on Wall Street or the big corporations or big oil. But what's different right now is you have something called the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal, being popularized right now by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and others and Bernie Sanders, is saying we need a new deal for people. What we're seeing right now in France is the same old deal. Okay, okay so, so, uh, so you cuts say that for, we, big, uh, for rich people, right? And I, tightening the, the belt around the necks of the of the poor and working class. Uh, I, I mean, and you're right there, and that's all. And by the way, Bernie Sanders, I think, just spent three hundred grand in a single month flying in a private plane. So he's obviously out of the conversation. He's discredited. You can't be concerned about climate change. I, I don't agree with that plane. at all. I just well, saw it's, Bernie it's, last weekend at the Sanders I mean, Institute no, gathering, which was the, the, absolutely no, stellar. No, let's, let's be real. There's a level of hypocrisy that takes you off the table. You're no longer credible, and he's in that category. But the broader uh, question... Bernie flies in the middle seat. I think it's pretty clear private, about actually. Bernie Sanders' that's, politics. No, no, I'm sorry. I know you like Bernie, but I'm just saying, Bernie's, unless the story was lying, it was a news story that said he'd spent hundreds of thousands on private air travel. So, like, you're not a climate activist if you're flying private. But let me say this quick. Would the Green New Deal, and I, I don't know all the details, would it raise energy prices for middle class people? That's the key question right there. No, no. In fact, when you, when you deploy solar and when you deploy wind, you create millions upon millions of jobs. 24 million Maybe jobs in the renewable energy sec well, sector. This is a gas. 24 we don't know. million jobs. And, well, no, we do know. We can predict we, Of course we, we don't know. Come on, wake plans. up, son. This is no, Tucker, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Let's, Let's stay on this wonderful, too long. Long. No, cordial, don't, don't tell me you know how many jobs are going to be created. Let's just, let me just finish. with You asked me a question. I'm answering the question. The question is that solar and wind are cheaper for electricity than fossil fuels. That is a fact right what now. What about for air Solar travel? and wind what, are honestly, cheaper what, okay, than fossil fuels. How is burning what about air, tra well, air travel? Is not, air okay, travel is not what we're talking about right now. We're talking right. about raising gas prices. We're talking about raising the, the basic prices for, for, for uh, the working and the, and the poor people. Oh, okay, and okay. that, a Green New Deal, would help people. I don't know if I believe I that what you're saying is true, but I agree with Tucker. the sentiment. I have okay. seen people in their backyards getting poisoned okay. by the fracking industry, being right. poisoned by the we're, fossil fuel industry. We're out I time. care about Americans, and Americans need a Green Americans New Deal right now. And it's, got it. Got it. Yes, we're out of time. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.